Being a monkey in the big city can be an exciting experience. <laughs> but it isn't perfect. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Wow, we could really use some fresh country air, huh? The man with the yellow hat knows when the time's right to get his monkey out of the city. Take a deep breath and fill your lungs with good, clean country air. <sighs> ah, it's good to be back, isn't it? You can let the clean air out, George. There's plenty here. George, looks like Bill built a bunny hutch in his yard. Want to go see the bunnies? <laughs> there you go. Hey there, got George with you? <laughs> How'd you know it was us? Hmm, well, guess. Hey, I just got bunnies. Want to see? <laughs> George had never seen a bunny up close before. You like bunnies, George? <laughs> Do they have names? Sure. There's Fuzzy, Whitey, Brownie, Spotty, Black Ears, Cottontail, and Herbert Nenninger. And that's their mom. Ah. Wanna pet one? <laughs> Which one? Brownie? Whitey? <laughs> Fuzzy. Fuzzy's cool. There's some Things you need to know about bunnies before you pet one. Oh no! It's time to deliver my papers. Ooh. Sorry! Come back tomorrow and you can pet them all. Well, you're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow, George. George could barely stand it. Who can wait a whole day to pet bunnies? You going out? <laughs> Be a good little monkey. <laughs> George thought he could keep the bunnies company while Bill was away. They were so still, so quiet, so fuzzy. Bunnies, bunnies. Bill wouldn't mind if he petted one bunny, just once, if he was very, very careful. <laughs> the bunnies were so still and quiet and fast. They were almost too fast to see. Definitely too fast to pet. And absolutely too fast to do as they were told. Their mom knew enough to stay in the hutch. But George wasn't taking any more chances. George decided he'd better figure out how many bunnies got loose by counting their bowls. Seven. That meant he still had to catch seven. The apartment building where George lived was a very orderly place. And that's how Hunley liked it. They're here to clean your carpets. People came. And 
people went. The elevator arrived. And people came down the stairs. Everything in Hunley's lobby was orderly and neat. Well, almost everything. We can't go back into the apartment until the carpet is dry, George. So you stay here in the lobby while I run my errands, all right? Okay. Oh, oh, and in case you get hungry. I won't be long. Hunley didn't think George should be eating a sloppy apple in the lobby. George decided it would probably be better to eat his apple someplace else. Hunley had never been through this door before. but he was pretty sure it was against the rules to be out here. Hunley didn't think George would ever get in that way. So he'd find a better way. All right, move it along. At least there was one thing Hunley knew for certain. Home was this way. Or... Maybe that way. Hunley was getting worried. He could just imagine the terrible things that that sloppy monkey was doing to his lobby. When Hunley found his building, it was even worse than he imagined. But then Hunley saw that it wasn't his street at all. But that meant he had no idea where he was. Lots more coming, stick around. Come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> to George, it was a perfect morning, eating and reading and having nothing better to do. But there was one thing he was supposed to do. George. <laughs> Didn't you promise to clean up this room yesterday? <laughs> you can't leave toys lying around. Someone could get hurt. 
Lucky for me, this wall was here. Now, please, clean up, George. When I come home from work, we'll spend the evening in our nice, clean living room, okay? Rolling on the car looked fun. Except for the slamming into the wall part. <laughs> if one car was fun, imagine what you could do with two. George had to show his great new car shoes to someone. George couldn't wait to see the look on Hunley's face. <laughs> that wasn't the look he expected. <laughs> Hunley didn't want monkey handprints all over the clean doors. George didn't know how to turn around and go back. I don't know. We have too many roller skates. Now, what can we do to make people more interested in skates? Well, how about having a roller skating monkey give demonstrations? And just where are we going to find a roller skating monkey? The skates are our gift to you. You just skate in front of the store whenever you can. <laughs> mm, you'd better give him another pair, hon. He's got four feet. Well, I thought he had four hands, but fine. Two pairs it is. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, let's see what you can do. Uh, maybe he should practice outside. Yeah, gotcha. Now you practice, little mister, then come back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you ever think we'll see him again? If you can't trust a monkey, who can you trust? <laughs> George liked his new skates. <laughs> but what were these black things for? <laughs> George thought that even Hunley would have to admire his skates, especially since now he knew how to stop. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me help you with those. Uh, Hunley, you're in charge. Woo, woo. Monkey on wheels looked wrong, but a proud, sleek dachshund on nice wheels. George knew exactly what Hunley wanted to do. Bringing home a new rug is always a one-man, one-monkey job. So George was happy to have his friend, the man with the yellow hat, around to help. Uh, I'll take the front, George, and you make sure the back doesn't hit anything or drag on the ground. <laughs> but hold on, we all clear back there? <laughs> Okay, I'm putting it down. 
Whew, thanks, George. Boy, I am so happy I got this rug. George liked the way the big tube looked in the room. <laughs> looked good flat, too. <laughs> Professor Wiseman was right. It's a perfect rug. Oh, I've got to take a picture to show her. Oh, wouldn't you know? I forgot to buy batteries. Okay, I'll be right back. Be a good little monkey. What a great rug. <laughs> Hauling a rug always makes a monkey thirsty for grape juice. A lot of grape juice. The rug made for good toe squishing. So it would probably be fun to jump on. <laughs> this wasn't good. George had to get that juice off the rug. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Soap. Soap cleans stuff. So more soap cleans stuff more. Bubble bath would make it smell good. Definitely too much soap. Okay, perfect. But there was something missing. Water! today. Well, I'd like to buy this. It'll go perfectly with my great new rug. Wait, wait, these legs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid they'd snag my great new rug. Oh, I could fix that. Swap those legs out for ones that are less snaggy. Just take a few minutes if you don't mind waiting. I can't wait to get a picture of that footstool on my new rug. Ah. <sighs> Oh, uh, did I mention I just got a great new rug? <laughs> George had to get all those suds out of the house so he could see if the rug was clean. George was happy he spotted the glass of juice. That could have caused a real mess. Ah. Grape juice must help you think, because George suddenly remembered when the Rinkins' basement flooded. Ah. 